How's it going guys? Welcome back to Supercar 411. Today we are out here in sunny Salt Lake City um, <laughs> and we are at the Maserati dealership and this is a news recap of what's been happening lately. There's quite a bit of stuff going on. It's a lot and, of bit uh, of stuff. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, of bit of drama. Stuff. Oh, that, a, <laughs> a lot of drama, of drama going on, and, and uh, yeah, Foster, go ahead, take let's it away. jump into it. Uh, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, the more the exhaust pipes, the faster the car. So this thing's got to go so fast. So first thing we want to start out with talking about is RDBLA and them wrapping this G wagon that came in that was actually wrapped by a whole nother shop. Um, they go into explaining how instead of taking all these panels and pieces off which is making it super hard to wrap, taking all the panels and pieces off, that they actually just cut all the seams. And now it's starting to pill up. Oh, it looks terrible. It looks horrible. Like, yeah. it, is, it is nasty. It just goes to show, you really, you get what you're paying for. Absolutely. If you, Especially if you pay at cheap, RDB. Oh, yeah, <laughs> RDB, for sure. Yeah. They take their time to do it, but they go into depth about how, I mean, hard it is. I didn't oh, realize yeah. how hard it is to wrap well, a G-Wagon. That's one of the things I was thinking watching the video, is you'd expect it to be easy to wrap a G-Wagon. It's boxy, it's just this it's one big square. square. I mean, you'd <laughs> expect to just be able to, you know, throw the vinyl over it. But then you but don't take into consideration all the trim pieces and the detail work that would actually go into it. There are that. a lot of very hard lines. Oh, absolutely. And I, as far as my yeah. knowledge goes, hard lines are hard to deal with it's when true. it comes to wrapping. Well, yep. and probably being so flat, I mean, trying to get it to lay, and then it'll be flat for an, an area and then it all just jumps. Yeah. Yep. Right. I mean, I don't, I don't wrap cars for a living. Yeah, right? we don't wrap cars, but <laughs> as far as RDB, they don't complain ever. That's something, and then, you know, and they come up and bring up this situation yeah. that now they have to go and fix. I, you feel bad for them, you know? Yeah. Great shop, do great work. So if you Very haven't seen that video, go check it out. And Steve. if you have a G-Wagon that you want wrapped, hey, go visit Vic. One of the other videos that we saw, it was kind of a two-part video. It was either, both sides of the video. Uh, Mondi called out Houston on uh, basically saying that his hypercar was lame and couldn't do donuts <laughs> and that the TTRS does way better donuts. And they brought Shmi along because Shmi had filmed with Mondi in California the day before. Yep, so that was all, a good video. Yeah, great video. They all came together. Uh, met up at Royalty, went to the backyard. There's a big open area behind Royalty. Where they hold so their car meets. Yeah, where they hold their car meets. And it, it's kind of a big open parking lot. It's all fenced off, an enclosed area. And they did donuts back there. And uh, Dude, was, they were ripping. Oh, they were ripping. They were. That's yeah. And Thank I you. will say this um, having watched the video, my hat goes off to Mario because some of those shots, <laughs> I swear to you, I have no idea how close that car was, but I'll bet you he felt wind. Like, yeah. if we're being honest, like me to you, yeah, holding exactly. the camera. I mean, and it's like Mario, swinging, Mario, just tell just us, weapon. how did you do it, Mario? Yeah. Like, Seriously. I, uh, I would have died. But there was, there was, was like great shots. So. We saw his confidence in filming, oh, hanging outside of a Rolls absolutely. Royce, filming the CCX. Um, so, but that, I that mean, if you guys haven't there. seen that video, go watch it. It's a great video. It starts off a little slow, but by the time you get to the end, it's well worth the watch. Speaking of donuts, though, Savage Garage is Ford GT. Oh, oh yeah. So, I forgot about they that. went through the rounds with that car Amen. because they had all the problems with fueling and all these things in previous shop work kind of like RDB yeah I mean they had a wire grounding into the fuel yeah that That's... Dude, that dude was okay, guys I don't know if you watched this video but the, the mechanic excuse me sorry this is why we haven't filmed I've been sick for the last three weeks me too and anyway but the, the mechanic that was doing the work on that Ford GT was probably the most passionate oh, dude, dude I've ever seen. That was, it was, was so, so good. Much Again, Shmi was in this video yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, he's just kind of a ghost, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but that video, one of the quotes that I just remember is, that was one of the greatest thousand dollars I've ever spent on tires. <laughs> and I just can't get that out of my yeah, head. The yeah. fact that you could just be like, oh yeah, just one grand on tires, but it was totally worth it to do those donuts. How about, how about like, the fact that the mechanic dude was like, this is where it goes from effing amateur hour to effing burning your car down. <laughs> but I mean, seriously, you have negligent work and things can really go bad. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you, you talk about, you know, wanting to cheap out in the beginning because it's cheaper to get these parts. You know, you think well, about, I mean, there are not, some only, parts. not only that, like they were saying some of the parts, it wasn't even a, like a big price difference, yeah. but they were like using stuff that wasn't even rated to be oh, in totally petroleum based yeah. anything. And uh, I mean, just popping it on. It was, it was a but, bad 
situation from the get-go. I mean, we've seen this many instances where you buy the cheaper thing in the beginning yep. because you think it's a better idea, and then you end up having to buy the bigger thing yeah. in the end of well, it. Well, we can all agree it is the better idea at the time, and then <laughs> once the time's wallet. gone, then yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> the whole situation after that is done for. Yeah, but I I really enjoyed that video. I As much as I dislike it, because I don't know why anyone would, um, I'd love to go get Burger King. Um, and <laughs> uh, yeah, hey, that that'd sounds be like dope. a good time. Um, Speaking of doing things that are a little bit outrageous, let's talk about the fact James bought Burlocker a freaking Rolls, Rolls Royce. Royce limo. Yeah, I'm I mean, jealous. What the? What? It's a 1982 yep. Rolls Royce. When he's driving it and turns the wheel, it tick, 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 oh, yeah. and the power steering pump just <laughs> screams. And but we still went with it. Shmi was in that video exactly. as well. I'm starting to see a pattern for this. <laughs> this guy's everywhere. Shmi, they were catching on. We're the name of this. On. The name of this video <laughs> is. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Shmi. <laughs> <laughs> Shmi, we love you, man. Keep it yeah, up. Tim, so, I mean, isn't it crazy it. that, like, legitimately, <laughs> James, out of nowhere, just buys this car, gets it shipped to, to, to Utah, and then on top of that, like, all of a sudden, he was buying it for him. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, he's like, I'm just going to give it to Burlock. Like, <laughs> what? Like, like, Burlacker, we want to really know your plans. <coughs> like, what, what's going down? Yeah, Obviously. hit, hit us up because we need to do a video together. Because not only is that the most outrageous car that I've ever seen someone be given, but I already told James, this idiot needs to start driving us around in that car. <laughs> yeah, we need we need a uh, we need to be treated with the VIP treatment. I so, got this nice, you know, suit coat, everything. <laughs> I mean, it's a little coat, but big guy, little coat. It works great, guys. So, it works. On the note of stupid things to do with cars or whatnot, and James, the kid standing on his hood. I feel uh, like we've got at least. Yeah, we have to address. I don't. This, I don't so. want to speak specifically we've on done. the kid on James's hood, <laughs> but just as a whole, yeah. here's a quick little PSA. If you don't own that car, don't freaking touch I it. I don't care. End of story. I don't care if it's a freaking $500 yeah, Mazda right. Miata yeah, or a $5 million Pagani It Huayra. doesn't matter the car. You like, should not be touching it. Someone, like, it's somebody's pride and joy. It's let someone's alone, possession. It's let cool. Alone care if it's a I'm sure he's a SXT cool kid, though. He didn't, exactly. you know, he's not thinking yeah. about it. He's probably or never like, around those cars. But... That's like I, I just can't imagine because we we see this all the time. Yeah. Oh yeah. People like Everywhere. Rodeo Drive, the Bugatti, all yeah. this stuff. People just want to touch them for some reason. Like sitting on cars, stuff like that. I just can't get my mind around the idea of literally just. What was he thinking yeah, when he I climbs on top no of sense. this like, car? Seriously. I don't get it. Like I just. Yeah. But yeah, PSA. So guys, stay off if of you're watching cars. this video have the common decency and respect to appreciate the car for what it is, something to look at, because you don't own it. If the owner feels like he wants to give you the opportunity to get inside that vehicle, to experience that vehicle in any way, shape, or form, that's up to him. For As far as you're concerned, yeah, or her, as far as you're concerned, your job is to only surface value view that car. End of story. Absolutely. But we since we're ice. on the subject of drama, we have to address the drama that is boiling over in the uh, car community. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome new subscribers. Uh, Absolutely. This is kind of a big deal. I mean, thank you, Parker, I guess. Because <laughs> uh, our last video about the drama did really well. Yeah. We're at over 11,000 yeah. views at this point. Correct. Yeah. Um, and, and we appreciate thank you guys every for watching, single one of you that decided to join us. Especially those who subscribed exactly, yeah. and liked the video, comment, everything. Yeah, all the comments, negative I mean, or positive. Yeah, I mean, thank honestly, uh, one right, thing love I'd like to quickly address, I don't care to spend too much time on it. We're not a Life of Paulos replica. No, I we're mean, not. Man, a, I, I, I think we are completely different. We're we, like we go show. to the events anyways. We yeah. bring a camera now. I'll be honest with you guys. We don't really like doing the re the YouTube recap videos because you can watch the videos just as easy as we can. And you but, can see. But, but it's still news in the yeah. end of the day. And, yep. and we can't go to an event every exactly. single day of our lives. Not yet. We're not we gotta, monetized yet, yeah. guys. So. More yeah, subscribers, the more likes, yeah, the, the more, more subscribes. That I, helps. That's why we encourage yeah. you to like, share, comment, Absolutely. whatever. Just to every expose event. us. Yeah. Because we're trying to get to these events. We don't want to be the people sitting stagnant, yep. looking at a camera, being the guy that watched a YouTube video and then makes a YouTube video just about that YouTube video. We want we to show you what's happening. We also want to be able to be at that event and speak to the people who are making the other videos. Speaking of being at events, 
as a final topic, something that sparked all of this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. racing for children, Alex Choi wrecking Parker. Correct. We witnessed that firsthand. We were sitting in a car, watched him wreck. We were the, right um, next to him. Guys, and I apologize. The only thing that stopped us from bringing that footage to you was a dead camera. So also, so. we were leaving. We had stayed late that day, yeah. and we needed to yeah. get back to Utah. But anyways, okay, so this drama that has been started, this will be our final topic for the video, yeah. I think. Yep. Um, we covered it a lot in that last video that we were just discussing. Well, but I don't want to rehash the whole thing. Yeah, but, and but it has escalated kind of a, a, to the next quick, level. Quick recap. Yeah. A lot more allegations coming out. More people being dragged into it, including mm -hmm. uh, Buddy, Buddy, who used to work also with Salomon, Pedro, yeah. also known as who even knows what else. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, allegations of a large amount of money that's owed to Parker. Uh, Basically using a lot of surnames. Yeah, I mean, basically <laughs> using all sorts of different reasons and, mani and manipulation as to why he was borrowing that money, and you know, Parker feels like he should get it back. Good, bad, or indifferent. I'm not here to tell you that Parker's doing the right thing. No. I am here to tell you that it's happening. It's whatever he's doing. So I'm going to tell you. We're here to tell you happening. Parker's doing a thing. Exactly. We're leaving it up to you to what you want and, to decide. Uh, exactly. Along but. with that, Parker has since moved to Vegas. Um, yeah, he didn't well, sell his house. He's purchased a house in Vegas. Well, he hasn't moved yet. Yeah, so, and he's, from what I've gathered, he's keeping his old house, but he'll be renting it or leasing it or something. Yeah, he was some originally going to sell it. Maybe he'll sell it. Who knows? Um, but Vegas, interesting place to be. Yeah. Um, from an automotive YouTube standpoint, Royalty is the only competitor there. Uh, well, and I mean, I don't even necessarily think that it's it's comp competition in that sense. But I just think that there's a lot of opportunity in Vegas. Most of the manufacturers test their cars in Vegas. That's yep. true. And that's where true. where Parker has direct link with a lot of manufacturers, I think it will expose him to some of the cars firsthand before I mean, anyone else can get to it. All around, Parker called out a couple more people. He's escalated out the my, DDE thing to yeah. the next level. Going through other things. No one else is really saying anything about it. DDE yeah. is posting a lot about with their family. They just went to the Burnyard Bash yeah. and blew what seemed to be an oil line on a yeah, turbo is what we've line, gathered. Yeah. Don't know yet. Happened like what? I mean, it was ago? pretty dramatic yeah. flames, but... Well, I mean, the, it was here's the, the thing. The, photo. The, yeah. the different <laughs> shots make it look very different. Because I see yeah. one video photo. where the flames seem like they're lasting yeah, forever and the yeah. car's gonna burn to the ground and then you see another where it looks where like it someone just like you know lit an axe can yeah, you exactly. know what i mean well, it's almost like they took the still photo and when you watch the actual video it's like that they, but when you look at the photo really it's like lucky with yeah. that holy picture. like look at the car it's yeah. gonna burn to the ground yeah. you know yeah. so it's it's all a matter of how you see it yeah, what angle you're saying <laughs> it's all perspective everything here is perspective <laughs> Absolutely. i mean based on the drama mm. everything but let us know your opinion on it in the comments yeah. Um, I don't really want to argue about it. Just, like, yeah, I mean, guys, we our, just... our, our position is that we're trying to unite the car community. We've taken the route of Cup Gang. I mean, cars uh, unite realistically, people. Realistically, yeah. That's, that's, our, that's our motto that we live by. That's one of the biggest things that I miss is mm -hmm. the sense of family with the car community. And you still see it from here to there. Yep. But nine times out of ten, you show up to a car meet, whether it's in Utah, Vegas, California, Arizona, it doesn't matter. Those are all the places yeah. we mainly go. That's why. Yeah, that's our. But you show up there now, and it just feels like competition. There's yeah, the there's groups. This guy's better than this guy. This guy has dying. this. Whereas when we would go, I mean, three years ago. Three years ago, when was we a first totally started getting world. into cars, yeah. you show up. I mean, dealerships. Let's yeah. use that as a perfect example. We showed up to Lamborghini Beverly Hills. It was our first Aventador SUV yeah. we ever saw. It was gray with orange yeah. uh, details, like trim and everything. And they were showing us all around it. Obviously, we couldn't get in it because it's a dealership, it's an own car, everything. But they're showing us everything with it. Nowadays, you show up to Lamborghini Beverly Hills, and not specifically this dealership. We're not calling out this dealership or anything. Yeah. But you show up to dealerships, and they're confrontational. They're, you know, you're not buying a car. We're not going to show you anything. Well, but I that's why we partnered choosing, with, I think the YouTube world has kind of bled off on them. That totally. Way, so, but because, that's why we're partnered with, like, Marshall Golden. Exactly. They are some of the most inviting people. Yep. You know, we showed up there as three idiots. Bozos from Utah. With a camera <laughs> that were, like... And there's A7, a bulk in here, <laughs> and we we tried to park it somewhere, didn't get a park. Then we finally decided to valet. All these things, you know, and yet they're so inviting. Some of the greatest guys out there. There there are still amazing people out there. We're trying to bring that out. Yeah. And that's what I want out of the car community, not this this not drama. This drama. And I'm hoping out of all this drama that's happening, at least that comes out of it. Yeah. yeah. Because 
That's well what said, I Because I agree with you. That being said, I really look forward to some of the events that we have coming up this year right. because we're heavily involved again with Cars for Kids. Um, the, the charity side's always there. A lot and of I the think there's a lot too. of things that we're going to be doing this year yeah. that we can bring to you guys that is very positive. Our partnership with Marshall Goldman, for us, that is a huge, huge I mean, just the, the amount of trust that they've given us as, as YouTubers to come in there and be able to have access to the, um, the cars that they have. Because let's be honest, they are the top of the top. Oh, yeah. They have literally the best cars that are available yeah. in the super and hypercar and, world. Um, on top of them, I'd like to add Vertical Mile Rally. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Our partnership as, with Vertical Mile Rally. That was, is, that I mean, is that's a family. No I yeah. mean, when we went on our the uh, Dash, to Dover. The Dash to Dover rally, mm -hmm. We knew maybe two people yeah. going into that rally, but when and we by left, the end of it, I can confidently of say, friends. handful of friends leaving. Yeah, I mean, not a single person yeah. there was, you know, a bad person to be around. Just yeah. family, and that's why we encourage you to go on these rallies. Absolutely. We encourage you to visit Gar Marshall Goldman. We encourage yep. you to talk to us. We encourage you to comment. All these things. Yeah, if you guys see us, sure. come up and talk to us. We're just regular Please. guys. Seriously, we love talking cars. We love so, meeting people. Yep, seeing where different people come from in life, different walks of life. Come talk to us. Come see us. We're always, we're, I mean, we're everywhere. Yeah. I mean, we're oh, here, yeah. we're in Vegas, we're in California all the time. Keep up on the Instagram. To Arizona I mean, more. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we're I've been I mean, in literally, California more yeah. times than I've been in Salt Lake this year, and I live in Salt Lake. So <laughs> you watch the, you watch our stories on Instagram, it'll tell you where we are. Yeah. And yeah. nine times out of ten, it's, oh, hey, we're going to this event. You yep. see us there? Yep. Say hi. And we're going to get better at the Instagram thing. We're not on top of it. So well, we're going to get better at all of this. Uh, yeah. Let's be honest. And leave in the comments, what can we, what can we do better? What do you guys want to yes, see more of? Please comment. Let us know. We're all about being better. We're not the best. Let us know what we can do better. And what do you guys want to see? What do you like seeing? And you know? like and subscribe, please. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. If you're enjoying this, hit like, Smash hit subscribe. It's one button away. Smash that like button. <laughs> and, Smash uh, that subscribe button. <laughs> and subscribe. Yeah. If you don't subscribe, you know, we still love you, I guess. Yeah. But go subscribe. That's right. what I'm, we're getting there. Go subscribe. I so, think. Love love the bottom around. line is, guys. 2020 is going to be a great year for cars, whether there's drama or not. 2020 is going to be a great year for Supercar yep. 411. We're going to expand because we have the drive, we have the determination, we have the goal that we're not going to let up. You know, we're not going to let the haters hate. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. We're hoping to have uh, another video coming up real soon. We're going to try and get back out to California. We need to go see the guys at Marshall Goldman. True. Yep. And uh, anyway, thanks again. Like and subscribe. But until next time. Peace. Peace. Stay classy. <laughs>